Hello guys and welcome back to Revenge of the Sea Team. Today we're actually going to get on with some basically power and you probably have noticed we're in a total different location. Yet yeah, what happened there was um, an update to the pack and um, we were getting lots of like and um, plus there was no variety it, all it was is mushroom biomes and well mushroom biomes whatever you want to call it mycelium it was just that and forest so what we did we reset the seed we copied everyone's stuff over with a um, world edit and we're now here um pav is only just over there um, spawn is an absolute mile away uh it, there it is but it's all been copied over and we're all on like basically it's just the same but with different and pav left us this here which will actually take us to his base then he's going to set it up so everyone's stuff is in here so we can quickly get back and forth to spawn if we ever need it these things are cool the tf2 teleporter so yeah i don't think they're that hard to make but that's quite cool so we'll go back to my base and what we're going to get on with today guys is basically we're going to set it up basically for build a biggest fort or castle i've ever seen and it's going to be on this area basically i want it to look like out of something like um a lord of the rings return of the king like that big castle but i'm going to do it black because the amount of basalt we have is unreal because it's just on the bottom layer of like uh why why one it's just a layer of basalt everywhere so i was thinking of doing that <coughs> So when we've done that, we can actually um, get on with a few things. So first things first, you'll notice there's hardly any trees around us. There's basically none. There's a few over there. That's about it. Um, spruce? Is that spruce? I don't think that's spruce. But well, we're going to need some planters and harvesters because, geez, it's hard in a uh, hard work here. So what we're going to do is go... Oh, before I even start that, I'm actually going to go to Evil Craft. Because I want to get the book, what Pav and, Pav and Jay were trying to get last time. I've seen their video, and it's an evil book. I think it's this one, Origins of Darkness. Obtained by feeding a darkened apple to a mob and quickly throwing a book at it, resulting in an anomaly. So they didn't throw the book at it, so they didn't get the that, I think. So And I've got plenty of books because I've been mining. So we'll take a book, uh, which is uh, six of then we're going to need an evil apple or something. I think it's an apple and a dark gem, which it is. And I think I've got some dark gems in here. 20. Nice. And we need an apple. Do I have an apple? I don't have an apple, but I've got plenty of saplings. I was going to use these for the farm, but it looks like that's not going to happen now. I'm going to have to bone me all this and try and get um, some basically some stuff together to get to get this evil apple so i'll be right back guys i'm gonna cut away until i get an apple and i'll see you in a bit well i only needed to cut one tree down i might as well not have cut away because that was a bit pointless <laughs> so we're back and we're gonna do this so grab that bit and then we'll go here we probably didn't need to even go in here so it wants an apple and a dark dark gem which gives us this one right so let's do this let's make sure i read that Obtained by feeding a darkened apple to a mob and quickly throwing a book at at the resulting anomaly. So basically, find a mob. Let's do a pig. Come here, pig. Is this? Pro. Oh, there we go. Nice. A true source of evil. I don't know what you are. It disappeared. But we got the, the evil book, so that's quite good. So let's see what this has to offer when we get up back up here and see what there's in. The Origins of Darkness, Prefest, Structures, First Aid, Start, A Strange New World, Relics, Items, Revenge, Revenge and Spirits, Second Age, The Powers of Blood, Blood Infusion, Evolved Machinery. Basically, it tells us everything that we need to know. A darkened gem. Nice. So this is quite cool because it's going to tell me everything I need to know about blood magic. Blood magic? I mean evil craft. So I'm going to actually put this away for now because we don't need it. 
because I just wanted to get the book. I'm going to read over that during episodes and then we'll go into some evil craft. And I don't know what to expect from it. I know when mobs drop from a certain height, they leave a blood stain or anything on the floor and you can extract the blood from that block. So that's quite cool. That's the only thing I know about blood magic. Uh, evil craft. But we're going to need to plant a few of these. So you plant there. So now we need to get is a planter and harasser. And hopefully these are not hard. Which is there. That needs two pots of that. And I do think I don't have any clay. Now this would have been the right reason to cut away. And I'm guessing the nearest river to me is miles away. Unless there's some down in here. Clay, please be down here. No, there's only sand and gravel. Oh no, there's some over there. Nice. So that does save me a trip. If I can get past here. Let me through. So we can actually get some clay. I love this wasn't clay, I love it was just sand. Let me out. Have some clay there as well. Nice. This does save me a trip and the cut of the video. So let's go back up here and get this sorted out. Let me through, please. Thank you. So we'll just get up here. Grab a few saplings on the way in there. And this was a, just a pot with... Yep. So I need six in there. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot scroll doesn't work. You're fighting constantly to get scroll to work. And it looks like there is a hurricane brewing over there. I'm hopefully that's not going to pick me up. Because that would be extremely annoying. And you stay over there, please. So it's raining. I like these 3D furnaces. They look so cool. So what else do we need? We're going to need some rubber uh, saplings. And I guess I'm not even ready for rubber saplings yet. Because I guarantee you there is no rubber saplings in here. So what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to fall, move now cut out. And go and find a rubber tree. Until I find that, it's gonna. Uh, I don't like to. Uh, go away. Right? So I'm gonna cut away, guys, until I find a rubber sapling, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've went ahead and got some. Uh, what do you call it? The bishop was pricked to death. Poor bishop. Some um, rubber saplings, and I've planted them around. I've also got a lot of rubber, and I've got 42 raw plastic, so I've already smelled it out. I've actually gone ahead and started smelting this up because we're going to need a ton of it. So what we're going to do is actually make the harvester first. I might make two of these so we got them. Um, so I'll just do that. So grab that one and then go in here. Get... Uh, do I need two? No, nah, I'll, get, I'll get them later. So we'll go ahead and make some shears. Don't really need to shift click them. I could have actually made that myself. Go ahead and make a harvester. And then we need a planter. So if we've got planter and grab this. We need obviously these two of. And then a piston, which I don't have any wood for. But we can easily sort that out by going like that. And that. We have everything else like the redstone and that. So we can go you. I'll have one of you. And then that should be about it. Apart from the cobblestone. So now we have these, we can actually go ahead and plant them. Then we need to go to Thermal Dynamics. Uh, for some odd reason I picked up my hammer. Um, let's place you back down there. And then let's go back down to Thermal Dynamics, which is here. We need you, which we need lead and glass, which I don't think I have any glass. I have two pieces. Uh, lead should have been okay, because that was smelting up as I was doing it. So let's go like this. Let's grab a couple of these. And the chest is eating, I think. I tell you what, I tell you, I didn't even need to make them because if we look, there they are. <laughs> so we got 27, even though we probably didn't need 27. And then we're going to need some item conduits, which is these ones, which is lead and tin, which I have a ton of tin, probably. Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and go back to here and make sure I don't. I have hardened fluid ducts. We're going to need them as well. 
so they're here and shift click them grab a bunch of these and then actually we're going to need a servo so if we type in i don't need to, don't need to type in server because it's right there so we actually are going to need a bit more glass than you were so stick that in there and let's throw you there let's half that and put you there and have a quick sleep I took a screenshot apparently at some point. I don't know why I did that. So let's do that. Let's grab our glass. I don't know if there was. Can we have some more than that, please? Because I want a servo, which is going to need some iron nuggets as well. Luckily, I have a fair bit of iron on me. And grab that. And then go back to here. Make these servos. Job done. Let's make as many as we can. So we've got eight. Our inventory's filling up with junk already, and I haven't even done anything hardly. <laughs> so let's chuck you back in there. Uh, your fluid ducts, we're gonna need you anyway, because we do actually need to make more steam dynamos. So if we just get rid of that and type in steam, which is these, and we can actually go ahead and do that. Actually, the cheaper version of these is that. So one, two, one, two, that's four. Um, do I want to make three dynamos? Let's make just the two for the time being and two of these. Let's get rid of the copper and two of them. And that should be about it, apart from that redstone, which we do not need. Then we're going to need a, this thing. Make sure I make the right one this time. It's um, okay, so can, I can't even pronounce the word. You know what I mean, guys. <laughs> so type that if I type it in this time we'll get the right one so this one actually needs uh, a lot of glass and also copper ingot I don't remember it being like that I'm sure it was iron iron and tin yeah I was right so if we go like this and one two one two one two one two and then iron in the middle gives us two of them then we're gonna need our glass which we have a ton of and then we can actually go like not that one you get two of them then we're going to need glass and more copper ingots we can actually just do that and replace it with copper how many was that was that two per one so we need four of them one two there's no four place them back in we have no room for these now we don't need saplings so you can go away and a servo which needs glass we need two of them <laughs> See, what do we need? We don't need you. Go away. I did put the glass away, didn't I? Or did I just not get enough glass? I didn't get enough glass. Luckily, we have some more sand. Place you there. And you there. Just grab that rest of that sand. And we got it, haven't we? And you that one. And you in there. Job done. How many pieces of glass was it per one? It needs its two glass and job done. There we go. So if we go like this and grab a pneumatic servo, that's that. Now it needs, I think that's it. Oh, two, two buckets. One, two. So I don't want to use my buckets up that I've already got because that'll be a bit of a pain. So if we not grab you and place these in ourselves, that would work a lot better. And glass either side, which I don't have them. If it's why it didn't work. And now, yeah, that worked. So we are actually going to need a bucket, so we're going to make a bucket as well. One, two, one, two, two, two. And that gives us two buckets, which we can just get rid of that. And then we're going to need some water sauce. I could have actually just grabbed this off you, I think. Uh, you're not going to let me get you. No, it won't let me. I'll put that dirt back later. So is there a water source close to me that's going to be quite handy to put down? Yes, there is. Nice. And grab another one, please. So what we're going to do is actually find somewhere flat, which is decent, which is probably here. Because I only want to make it 3x3 three three for the time being. Uh, probably should have put that closer actually uh, apples disappear please 
and food can disappear. Place them back down, take the apples back. Uh, apples, please. Thank you. And I'll leave them. So if I make this like over here, because we have plenty of blocks. And we'll just place you there with the other bucket. And then we've got an unlimited water source to do this. So one machine is going to go there, so it's that thing. One machine will go there, and the other one will go here. So we take this, place that one there, and that one there. So they both have water sources beside them. Go away, flowers. Right, that got rid of them. <laughs> so right, what we're going to do is actually stick our fluid conduits, what we have here, on top of these. So we take that and place them there. And then we want to bring these along just a tiny bit. Hopefully this has got water in. I will not have a clue until I make it. And we're going to place these there and there. And hopefully you're filling up. What I maybe should have done is actually get rid of these. These take so long to break up out with a uh, wrench. Can you break these sometime this week? Uh, can I can I not have that? Please? Thank you. Can I have this one? Thank you. You can actually place them there. And to put them on the angle, you just do that. Shift click. Job done. And why so many seeds? Go away. So what we need to do is bring this along. This tree is going to be in the way, but oh well. There's nothing you can do about that. Is actually get the harvester. And... Maybe I should have put this underground, it would have been a lot better because then I can get a chest behind it. Or get rid of you. Put that there. Then we can actually place that there. This should be now going. Oh no, because it hasn't got any power. Have we got any wood? Yes, we have. Let's place you there. And then you in there. This will sh should start going. Anything that grows in a 3x3 area in this direction now will actually be destroyed and place down so this is the start of basically automating our coal which is going to power these as well well charcoal should I say so we're going to place them down there uh, I need you because you would have been better and we can actually place no saplings in because we haven't got no saplings because that's rather annoying place more conduits down so this gets power Take all that dirt because we're going to need to fill all this in now. Then at some point we're going to need to take this out. And obviously place that there. Because that's going to need to connect to a chest. So what we're going to do is um, fill the rest in now because that is actually done. Uh, apart from you, you're going to be annoying because I should have, like I said, put that on the ground. That would have worked ten times better. I could have flipped these over so they were facing downwards. And then all that could have been underground. Yeah, but I didn't figure that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm actually going to cut away. Get this set up. Um, I'm going to make probably the next tier upgrade, which is... Um, when I get to see it. Um, not that one. I think that one. So it's like a 6x6 six six area. All it needs is iron and redstone and a golden nugget. Which is, and you can use all berry nuggets if you want to as well. So that is going to start expanding. And I'm probably going to make another harvester, another planter for food. I don't know. Maybe. Just see how it goes. I might need to put more dirt down, so we'll see. So I'll be back in a bit. And I'm back, guys. Right. What we can do as well is actually make a redstone furnace because we're going to need this. So we'll need another machine frame, which I've gone ahead and already made. Then we've got most of these things, so we should be able to just do that. So now we have you. Let's just put them away. I've got some jabber barrels because I went and made them. And pick up the dirt as we go past. I went and placed some more dirt as we went as I was actually doing all this stuff. So we can actually go ahead and I probably move this. I think it's six, the one what I went and got. So. I'll actually swap that out. I don't need to swap it out because I've already got this. Probably going to need to chop down this tree. Hopefully I can just do this. 
because we do have grass about so we can use that as a tester so we don't need to mess about so if we go six away from here so one two three four five six and place down the planter again and place you there and then move this across a bit more hopefully i have enough redstone conduits or uh flux ducts i probably do so let's move these a bit further along let's place a sapling in and also you i don't need two i need one thank you did you work why did you plant it did you plant it 10 miles away i planted it there that's nice <laughs> i was like where did that go and then we'll what we'll do is place you along here uh can i get out please let me out <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and place you in here and you'll probably start working straight away and fingers crossed where did what the, oh there we go don't know which way it's going it's just doing random spots by the looks of it. Oh, there we go. It's going in that direction. So it should be doing the next row. Or is it going to start on this? I just don't have a clue. I don't know where it's going to go. So, right. What we've got to do is actually place these here. And hopefully they do something like this. I'm probably going to have to move all this. Because this is in the way. Because that's really annoying. I'm going to have to put some redstone on this as well. Well, at least we get some more dirt to fill up if we ever need to fill it up. And whatever seeds it plants, we're going to have to move as well. Right. Let's do this. So place you there. Not there. What are you doing? Uh, disappear, please. Thank you. So sapling, saplings, apples, and logs. And then what we need to do is actually bring... Actually, if we get saplings in this one, probably able to do something like this. Hopefully, place the redstone furnace down here. Uh, you there? And pl can I have this, please? Just uh, so you know which one to place it in. No, wait, stop it! And. Um, lock that in we do have some of these on us so we can actually place them in there uh, not that one because what i was meant to do is place that in there unlock that take them out uh can i have them logs back again Plish. this doesn't want to work today does it <laughs> place you in there then lock you take them out right so what we can do is actually get our item conduit place this down here tell it to pull out of this so we can actually start gaining some charcoal so what we want to do is ignore so it goes into there and we've got to make sure that side is actually set on configurable input if I remember rightly yep and then output on that side yes nice so we didn't need this one which I placed down incorrectly And then we need to put, we can actually put this on there to see how much we're producing. So it's like a little circle thing. Um, these need to go back over. So really we want, do we really need saplings? But it should place the saplings in itself. Maybe I don't need this. And it is turning night and I don't like night time here because um, it does tend to go a bit psycho. Oh, now you hit the very fast here. So I'm going to go and sleep and I'll be right back. I'm back guys. Right. So what I'm going to do now is put these item conduits along here. Hopefully this works. I know it's a bit of a mess. But it's it will do for now because it's going to on our way to free power basically. And if that goes along there it should. Fingers crossed. There's nothing in there now. And that should have gone in one of these. Somewhere. Does it not? Will it not accept? Ah, it went in there. Nice. So that's creating power. Steam's going in and power's being used. And eventually this will just keep doing. And as you can tell. But the only problem is with a harvester, it contains sludge. And then we're going to have to pipe this out somehow. Maybe put it into a container for the time being. like Or a void. 
is a trash can in here oh nice it is trash so we could actually um void the sludge if we need to but you can actually use sludge to with a sludge boiler and get like saw sand and heat sand and stuff like that from it so that'll be cool but at the as an apple at the moment we've got free power but as you can tell it's starting to slow down it could either be by because it's breaking a load of leaves or it could be because there's too much sludge in there sludge in there or not enough power but as you can tell there is enough power so it's not the power so what it could be is the sludge then so the sludge is slowing it down at the moment so we're gonna have to pipe that out at some point and I will actually put you there and that should pipe it out at some point and I'll put um, one of them the fluid trash can there and it will just constantly empty it out so it's not going in there and that'll be job done uh, could we actually put you on there now and ready because that will actually take some fluid out and as you can tell that did speed it up um, do we have what it takes to make one now because that would be nice to finish off the episode have that fully completed and going and ready for when we build Tesseract for next episode um, so what we need is cobblestone uh, do we have a chest we have a chest nice so we need one of these which is done then we need a bucket which I do not have uh, yes I do I lied to you guys I do have buckets so you're there um, can I pick you up please can you not do that next time and then we can go back over here and place this down and it should speed it up again empty so now that's going extremely fast <laughs> that'll probably go through power like mad now and it is so what it needs this needs to fill up with more stuff so have we got that in yes so that can go ahead and start smelting up and hopefully fill this up before it runs out. Oh, chest chest is hungry. It won't open when he's hungry. So that is now going. So we're gonna have to feed chest. There we go. He went nam 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 nam. So the chest has been fed. You got six in. Uh, let's take half of you and throw you in there so you're building more power in that one as well. It uses so much power. Fingers crossed, this will actually all make itself. We might have to add another one and maybe another harvester to make this go even faster. But for the time being, it seems to be doing its job. I don't know if it's putting leaves in. Are we? It looks like it. Well, I've got rubber sapling for some odd reason. Did you actually eat the rubber sapling? Yes, you've eaten the rubber tree. Nice. And you've done that one. Oh, it's even better. And I'll put you in there just in case. Lock you in. Just in case we fill up there, we can actually place this down and fill up this chest. But now we're done, we can actually end the episode there for today. And we can move on and start making, basically, for a Tesseract. So, if we go to Tesseract, this is also with thermal expansion. And basically, we need some Enderium. I have got Platinum. Or shiny ingot, whatever you want to call it. Um, why are you not showing me a recipe? Is it because it has to be through with this? Yeah, it has to be through this. So molten shiny, tin, and silver, and end, end, resin ender. Basically, resin ender is actually enderizer. It could be different for everyone. Are you actually in? Yeah, it's enderized, so it gives us resin ender. So that's actually not too bad we do have a load of ender dust from mining as well so that's quite cool so you're going to do your thing you're going to sludge I pro like I say I'll probably make that for make it a sludge boiler instead of a trash can but for the time being it can be trashed and you're not doing anything because now you've run out but you actually are starting to build up so that's actually quite cool and take half of you again and place you in there so I'm going to leave it there guys and I'll see you next time in Revenge of the Sea Team. Bye-bye.